Hi guys. So Aries, thanks for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a $25 personal with me or a $10 question or follow me on Instagram, all that information is listed in the comment section below. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Aries. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on it says you deserve love you are lovable and chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction bottom of the deck honeymoon so yeah i'm loving the fact that it's telling you that you deserve love and this arrow is pointing straight towards the chemistry so yeah i feel like th this person that's in your life or someone who might be coming into your life it's pretty fucking cool they're giving you the attention that you deserve however there's something that you have to watch out for bless sir spirit tell me what it is that this aries needs to watch out for yeah, I see you taking a new leap of faith. But someone here is a bit indecisive about what they want to do. Just be careful that this person isn't um, not really too sure about you. And they might end up like ghosting you because they're conflicted. This person may be having some issues that they're going through besides you and they're not telling you this. Yeah, nine of cups, but you make them really happy though. Let's take a look. Why are they indecisive about this um, about this leap of faith here? I feel like they're just getting out of something or they're trying to get out of something. Or this could be you trying to get out of something so you could go towards somebody new. But really being afraid to uh, take that leap of faith. Yeah, I feel like it might be you holding back from this person because you're a little guarded after you just went through some, some like real chaotic shit here. Yeah, but with the Nine of Cups, I feel like this person does make you happy. Why are you stressed? It could be about uh, something with your children. Yeah, maybe the the mother or father of your children is acting some type of way. Um, they may they may be acting funny with you seeing the kids. It's something to that nature. Four of Cups, yeah. Denying you something. This person may be denying you access to see your kids whenever you want. Or maybe uh, this is what's going on with your partner. But with the Seven of Pentacles, they do want to offer you something. But right now, they just don't have it in them. So they may ghost you. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, what is the outcome? The outcome for Aries, Spirit? What is the outcome for Aries? Six of Cups. I see you thinking about this person a lot. You probably feel like this person played mind games with you in the end. But they didn't. I feel like this person just has a lot that they were working on. And they just couldn't give you the attention that you wanted. Yeah. Spirit is saying you might have to take a moment. This this might take time. This is not something that's going to happen right then and there. But if you do decide to fuck with this person later on down the line, I feel like it'll be okay. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. They're going to come back. They just have to... They couldn't focus on you the way you needed focus. So they left. They knew. They could have told you, but maybe this is not the type of person to want to offer open up. Or maybe this is you not wanting to tell this nobody else your business right now. Yeah. It says you think someone is lying. They are. Yeah, I don't feel like this person told you the whole truth. Okay? Thank you, Aries.